In physics, the pointing vector represents the directional energy flux, the energy transfer per unit area per unit time of an electromagnetic field. The SI unit of the pointing vector is the watt per square meter with M2. It is named after its discoverer John Henry Pointing who first arrived it in 1884. Oliver Heaviside also discovered it independently. Topic: <laughs> Definition In Pointing's original paper and in many textbooks, the pointing vector is defined as S equals E times H display style math BF s equals math BF e times math BF H where bold letters represent vectors and e is the electric field vector H is the magnetic fields auxiliary field vector this expression is often called the Abraham form the pointing vector is usually denoted by s or n in the microscopic version of Maxwell's equations, this definition must be replaced by a definition in terms of the electric field E and the magnetic field B it is described later in the article. It is also possible to combine the electric displacement field D with the magnetic field B to get the Minkowski form of the pointing vector, or use D and H to construct yet another version. The choice has been controversial. Pfeiffer et al. summarize and to a certain extent resolve the century-long dispute between proponents of the Abraham and Minkowski forms see Abraham-Minkowski controversy. The pointing vector represents the particular case of an energy flux vector for electromagnetic energy. However, any type of energy has its direction of movement in space, as well as its density, so energy flux vectors can be defined for other types of energy as well, e.g., for mechanical energy. The UMOV pointing vector discovered by Nikolai UMOV in 1874 describes energy flux in liquid and elastic media in a completely generalized view. Interpretation The pointing vector appears in Pointing's theorem see that article for the derivation, an energy conservation law U T equals minus S minus J F E Display style frac partial u partial t equals math bf nabla c dot math bf s math bf j underscore mathrm f c dot math bf e, where jf is the current density of free charges and u is the electromagnetic energy density for linear non-dispersive materials, given by u equals one two e d plus b h Display style u equals frac one two left math bf e c dot math bf d plus math bf b c dot math bf h right, where e is the electric field, d is the electric displacement field, b is the magnetic field, h is the magnetic auxiliary field. The first term in the right hand side represents the electromagnetic energy flow into a small volume, while the second term subtracts the work done by the field on free electrical currents, which thereby exits from electromagnetic energy as dissipation, heat, etc. In this definition, bound electrical currents are not included in this term, and instead contribute to S and U. For linear, nondispersive, and isotropic for simplicity materials, the constitutive relations can be written as D equals epsilon e h equals 1 mu b display style math bf d equals var epsilon math bf e quad math bf h equals frac 1 mu math bf b where epsilon is the permittivity of the material mu is the permeability of the material here epsilon and mu are scalar real valued constants independent of position direction and frequency in principle this limits pointing's theorem in this form to fields in vacuum and non-dispersive linear materials a generalization to dispersive materials is possible under certain circumstances at the cost of additional terms topic <laughs> formulation in terms of microscopic fields The «microscopic» differential version of Maxwell's equations admits only the fundamental fields E and B, without a built-in model of material media. Only the vacuum permittivity and permeability are used, and there is no D or H when this model is used. The pointing vector is defined as S equals 1 mu 0 
E times B Display style Math BF S equals frac one mu underscore zero Math BF E times Math BF B where mu zero is the vacuum permeability E is the electric field B is the magnetic field this is actually the general expression of the pointing vector the corresponding form of pointing's theorem is u t equals minus s minus j e display style frac partial u partial t equals nabla c dot math bf s math bf j c dot math bf e where J is the total current density and the energy density U is given by U equals 1 2 epsilon 0 e 2 plus 1 mu 0 b 2 Display style u equals frac one two left var epsilon underscore zero math bf e carrot two plus frac one mu underscore zero math bf b carrot two right, where epsilon zero is the vacuum permittivity. It can be derived directly from Maxwell's equations in terms of total charge and current and the Lorentz force law only. The two alternative definitions of the pointing vector are equal in vacuum or in non-magnetic materials, where b. topic mu 0 h in all other cases they differ in that s 1 mu 0 e times b and the corresponding u are purely radiative since the dissipation term minus j e covers the total current while the e times h definition has contributions from bound currents which are then excluded from the dissipation term since only the microscopic fields e and b occur in the derivation of s equals 1 mu 0 e times b assumptions about any material present are completely avoided and pointing vector and theorem are universally valid in vacuum as in all kinds of material this is especially true for the electromagnetic energy density in contrast to the macroscopic form e times h equals topic time average pointing vector equals the above form for the pointing vector represents the instantaneous power flow due to instantaneous electric and magnetic fields. More commonly, problems in electromagnetics are solved in terms of sinusoidally varying fields at a specified frequency. The results can then be applied more generally, for instance, by representing incoherent radiation as a superposition of such waves at different frequencies and with fluctuating amplitudes. We would thus not be considering the instantaneous E t and H t used above, but rather a complex vector amplitude for each which describes a coherent wave's phase as well as amplitude using phase notation. These complex amplitude vectors are not functions of time, as they are understood to refer to oscillations over all time. A phaser such as E m is understood to signify a sinusoidally varying field whose instantaneous amplitude e t follows the real part of e m e j omega t display style math bf e underscore mathrm m e caret j omega t where omega is the radiant frequency of the sinusoidal wave being considered in the time domain it will be seen that the instantaneous power flow will be fluctuating at a frequency of 2 omega but what is normally of interest is the average power flow in which those fluctuations are not considered. In the math below, this is accomplished by integrating over a full cycle T equals 2 pi omega display style T equals 2 pi omega. The following quantity, still referred to as a pointing vector, is expressed directly in terms of the phases as S M equals 1 2 e m times h m display style math bf s underscore mathrm m equals tfrac 1 2 math bf e underscore mathrm m times math bf h underscore mathrm m caret asterisk where denotes the complex conjugate the time average power flow according to the instantaneous pointing vector averaged over a full cycle for instance is then given by the real part of s m display style math bf s underscore m 
The imaginary part is usually ignored, however it signifies «reactive power», such as the interference due to a standing wave or the near field of an antenna. In a single electromagnetic plane wave rather than a standing wave which can be described as two such waves traveling in opposite directions, E and H are exactly in phase, so S M S M is simply a real number according to the above definition. The equivalence of re S M display style operator name re math bf s underscore mathrm m to the time average of the instantaneous pointing vector s can be shown as follows s t equals e t times h t equals re e m e j omega T times re h m e j omega t equals one two e m e j omega t plus e m e Minus J Omega T times one two H M E J Omega T plus H M E minus J Omega T equals one Four E M times H M plus E M times H M plus E M times H M E two J Omega T plus E M times H M E minus two J Omega T equals one two re E M times H M Plus one two re E M times H M E two J omega T. Display style begin aligned Math BF S T and equals Math BF E T times Math BF H T and equals operator name re left Math BF E underscore Mathrum M E carrot J omega T right times operator name re left Math BF H underscore Mathrum M E carrot J omega T right and equals T F R A C one two left Math BF E underscore Mathrum M E carrot J omega T plus Math BF E underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk E carrot J omega Omega T right times T F R A C one two left Math B F H underscore Mathrum M E carrot J Omega T plus Math B F H underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk E carrot J Omega T right and equals T F R A C one four left Math B F E underscore Mathrum M times Math B F H underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk plus Math B F E underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk times Math B F H underscore Mathrum M plus Math B F E underscore Mathrum M Times Math BF H underscore Mathrum M E carrot two J Omega T plus Math BF E underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk times Math BF H underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk E carrot two J Omega T right and equals T F R A C one two operator name re left Math BF E underscore Mathrum M times Math BF H underscore Mathrum M carrot asterisk right plus T F R A C one two operator name re left Math BF E underscore Mathrum M times Math BF H underscore Mathrum M E carrot two J Omega T right. End aligned. The average of the instantaneous pointing vector S over time is given by S equals one T zero T S T D 
T equals one T zero T one two re E M times H M plus one two re E M times H M E two J Omega T D T Display style Langle Math BF S Wrangle equals frac one T in underscore zero carrot T Math BF S T D T equals frac one T in underscore zero carrot T left T F R A C one two operator name re left Math BF E underscore Mathram M times Math BF H underscore Mathram M carrot asterisk right plus T F R A C one two operator name re left Math BF E underscore Mathram M times Math BF H underscore Mathram M E carrot two J Omega t right right dt. The second term is the double frequency component having an average value of zero, so we find s equals re one two e m times h m equals re s m. Display style Langle Math BF S Wrangle equals operator name re left T F R A C one two Math BF E underscore Mathram M times Math BF H underscore Mathram M carrot asterisk right equals operator name re left Math BF S underscore Mathram M right According to some conventions the factor of one half in the above definition may be left out. Multiplication by one half is required to properly describe the power flow since the magnitudes of E M Display style math bf e underscore mathram m and h m display style math bf h underscore mathram m refer to the peak fields of the oscillating quantities. If rather the fields are described in terms of their root mean square RMS values, which are each smaller by the factor two two display style sqrt two two. Then the correct average power flow is obtained without multiplication by one half. Topic: Examples and applications. Topic: Coaxial cable. For example, the pointing vector within the dielectric insulator of a coaxial cable is nearly parallel to the wire axis assuming no fields outside the cable and a wavelength longer than the diameter of the cable, including DC. Electrical energy delivered to the load is flowing entirely through the dielectric between the conductors. Very little energy flows in the conductors themselves, since the electric field strength is nearly zero. The energy flowing in the conductors flows radially into the conductors and accounts for energy lost to resistive heating of the conductor. No energy flows outside the cable, either, since there the magnetic fields of inner and outer conductors cancel to zero. <inaudible> resistive dissipation If a conductor has significant resistance, then, near the surface of that conductor, the pointing vector would be tilted toward and impinge upon the conductor. Once the pointing vector enters the conductor, it is bent to a direction that is almost perpendicular to the surface. This is a consequence of Snell's law and the very slow speed of light inside a conductor. The definition and computation of the speed of light in a conductor can be given. Inside the conductor, the pointing vector represents energy flow from the electromagnetic field into the wire, producing resistive joule heating in the wire. For a derivation that starts with Snell's law see Wright's page 454. Topic: <laughs> Plane waves. In a propagating sinusoidal linearly polarized electromagnetic plane wave of a fixed frequency, the pointing vector always points in the direction of propagation while oscillating in magnitude. The time averaged magnitude of the pointing vector is found as above to be S equals 1 2 eta E M 2 Display style Langle S Wrangle equals frac one two eta E underscore mathram M carrot two. 
where m is the complex amplitude of the electric field and eta is the characteristic impedance of the transmission medium, or just eta zero, approximately equals display style approx 377 ohms for a plane wave in free space. This directly follows from the above expression for the average pointing vector using phasor quantities, and the fact that in a plane wave the magnetic field H m display style H underscore mathrm m is equal to the electric field E m display style E underscore mathrm m divided by eta, and thus exactly in phase. In optics, the time average value of the radiated flux is technically known as the irradiance, more often simply referred to as the intensity. Topic: <inaudible> Radiation pressure. The density of the linear momentum of the electromagnetic field is s c2 where s is the magnitude of the pointing vector and c is the speed of light in free space. The radiation pressure exerted by an electromagnetic wave on the surface of a target is given by P R A D equals S C display style P underscore mathrm rad equals frac Langle S wrangle mathrm C topic static fields The consideration of the pointing vector in static fields shows the relativistic nature of the Maxwell equations and allows a better understanding of the magnetic component of the Lorentz force, Q v times b. To illustrate, the accompanying picture is considered, which describes the pointing vector in a cylindrical capacitor, which is located in an H field pointing into the page generated by a permanent magnet. Although there are only static electric and magnetic fields, the calculation of the pointing vector produces a clockwise circular flow of electromagnetic energy, with no beginning or end. While the circulating energy flow may seem nonsensical or paradoxical, it is necessary to maintain conservation of momentum. Momentum density is proportional to energy flow density, so the circulating flow of energy contains an angular momentum. This is the cause of the magnetic component of the Lorentz force which occurs when the capacitor is discharged. During discharge, the angular momentum contained in the energy flow is depleted as it is transferred to the charges of the discharge current crossing the magnetic field. Topic. Adding the curl of the vector field The pointing vector occurs in Poynting's theorem only through its divergence s, that is, it is only required that the surface integral of the pointing vector around a closed surface describe the net flow of electromagnetic energy into or out of the enclosed volume. This means that adding a solenoidal vector field one with zero divergence to s will result in another field which satisfies this required property of a pointing vector field according to Poynting's theorem. Since the divergence of any curl is zero, one can add the curl of any vector field to the pointing vector and the resulting vector field S will still satisfy Poynting's theorem. However the theory of special relativity, in which energy and momentum are defined locally and invariantly via the stress-energy tensor, shows that the above given expression for the pointing vector is unique. <laughs> 